Hi guys, uh, Tuesday today, so um, thanks for all your comments that you put on yesterday's video number 12 and today what I wanted to do, I think the quickest way for me to answer that is just to do that by video again. Um, so I'm just going to run through some of the comments and um, and just where you've asked questions or run into problems, um, give you answers if I can give them straight away, otherwise I'll be noting them down and seeing if we create a special video on those various different things. So first of all, great to see that so many people already have their manual and that they are actually using it on a daily basis. I'm blown away by that. It's really, really great. So delighted, really delighted to see that. So congratulations to everybody who's done that. Um, if you haven't done it yet, it's okay. There's still plenty of time. Um, this is not something that anybody's forcing you to do or anything like that. But, um, you know, there's still plenty of time. And, you know, I really would encourage you just even to try it out. Just try it out for a couple of weeks even if you know even if you don't have faith in something like this I, to be honest i didn't in the beginning but um but i could see the changes and, and the difference it made pretty quickly so um so look i'm not going to go through everybody this comment that they have their manual and that everything's working on i'm going looking more for questions and, and issues that i see here okay so um just bear with me while i go through this um okay so eduardo is saying that he doesn't know how to use the video on a on a daily basis. So Eduardo, last week we did a video um, which goes through the 10 steps, right? And I know it was it covered it at a fairly high level. But um, so, so basically the, the 10 steps that you've written into your manual, you just need to read your um, the affirmations and the questions that you've put in there and actually go through each of the other 10 steps like the, the visualiz visualization and the meditation and all that kind of stuff as well. But and I, I, I know you may not be clear on how to do all of that, but just go at it, just do it. And we're gonna be covering each of those topics uh, little by little as we go along. So I've already done a tiny bit on exercise. There's more to come on exercise. We're going to go through each of those steps and, and show you. But just start, please, just just start. Uh, so, um, so then Nicole is asking, do I recommend a meditation that focuses on goal achievement? I don't, I think that just, it's not that I don't recommend that, I think if you get the Headspace app, there's all sorts of different meditation in there. I try all kinds of different things. It's not really about goal achievement here. It's it's just about that that kind of mind space um, in the morning. So I suggest you know go with whatever feels right for you. And uh, if you're new to this, I would start at you know the the beginner sessions that they that they have. Uh, and you're also asking what exactly am I visualizing? So as I mentioned before, this is a challenge for me too. And um, I'm getting some help from Jim on that, and I'll be sharing that with you as we go through the rest of the, the steps. Okay, and uh, John is saying he's got his manual, he's filled it up, and he's ready for what's next. So what's next, John, again, um, go back to the video. So I'm just going to pause this for a second and actually check what video that was. So John, I've just checked that. It's video number nine uh, from last week. So if you go back to that, that will just give you just, just something to get started with. It's certainly not everything. We're going to cover each of the steps in, in more detail, you know, day by day. But just, just get started with that. If, if you can't figure out something, uh, don't worry about it for now. Uh, so Arturas is saying he's stuck in the Headspace lessons, uh, really enjoying them. Um, that's great. Um, so Ellie is saying that um, she's been doing something quite similar to this for a while, so she's just managed to kind of incorporate this into the routine she has already, which I think is perfect. Keith has got the manual filled now onto daily implementation, so please do, Keith. So Dino's just a little behind. Um, Dino, that's perfectly fine. There's 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 no pressure on here. It's a learning process. It's going to take everybody a little bit of time. So just just take it in your own uh, in your own time and do what you can. And Jeremiah says they've got six small kids. Wow, that's a busy house. Um, so they're having trouble sticking to it daily, especially when the kids keep you up all night. Yeah, look for sure. Um, I think you've got to make this work around. Your lifestyle i mean i just have one child and he sleeps all night luckily enough and he always has so that's generally not an issue for me but i do find that i need to get this done before he wakes up in the morning because once he wakes up in the morning i'm, I'm not really in control of my of my day for those few hours before he goes to school so um yeah so jeremiah can't give you parenting advice on that but uh, i'm sure you'll figure something out uh janet is saying uh, among other things so so many bulbs lighting up for her with this and she's super excited with it and thanks for leading the way on this uh, process and structure so janet says that some steps are easier than others and uh, one like exercise and eating healthy can always be improved upon um for achievements list uh, i really like starting with the affirmations 
why is it that I love that, that that's really powerful I agree it certainly is and I've done a little video on that as well as about why that is a par is powerful and uh, that I'll share with you soon as well and um, it's all about creating better habits yes that's correct uh, and until now she says she believed to achieve success in your business you had to work all the time um, and pretty much put everything else uh, aside and uh, but that doesn't work and yeah we've all seen that well we're not all I don't know but I've seen that um, that can work for a little while but it's just not sustainable um, Pueco right if I probably pronounced that wrong uh, has written up his manual and feels like he'll be adding to it more absolutely um, so like I add to mine all the time okay so you've made a big long post here actually um, I'm just going to quickly uh, read this and uh, I'll, I'll make a comment on it Okay, um, so I'm just going to just, just touch on a few things that you mentioned here. Uh, Pueco, sorry again for the pronunciation. Um, so you're saying that getting to bed on time has really benefited you. That's, that's great. And um, that you've been working on the manual every day, but you're not sure about the meditation. And you don't know if you're doing it right. So, so you're using your 10-minute timer on your phone, which is fine. But what I would suggest, and I, and I know it, there's a small cost involved, is to use the Headspace app. I'm sure there are other free ones out there as well, but um, it's just really good for getting you started. Uh, it's really easy to get into, and there are beginner courses on there, which uh, which I would strongly suggest. I don't pretend I'm an expert in meditation by any means, but I find that app works really well for me. And um, you were saying also that uh, running isn't an option for you. Um, you know, I'll, I'll talk about. Um, I'll talk about exercise again, but it's, you know, whatever works for you. I think it's important to do some kind of exercise and, um, you know, it, it, like it doesn't matter, you know, for, for the majority of people, there's something you can do and whatever that is, just, just do it. And, and, and it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to hurt. Um, just, just get something done. Uh, so and and then the to-do list you're having challenges with that it's just not working out remember this is a process everything isn't going to happen just overnight okay so I have struggled with my to-do list as well um, but I'm, I, I have the hang of it now or pretty much and uh, it doesn't go perfectly every day by any means but uh, but just just keep keep trying and, and just keep getting that one percent better every day um, and you're, you're having challenges then with the with the health, eating healthy as well because of old habits again it's a process. There's going to be times then that it's going to be confusing and frustrating and it's going to be difficult, but just work through that. That means that you're learning and, uh, and, and you will get there if you, do, if you do this perfectly. Again, you mentioned visualization. We'll talk about that later on. Um, and you haven't been debriefing your day um, because you haven't done a great deal that needs debriefing. Um, so I would suggest that you know whatever you've done in your day can be debriefed. Um, even the fact that you haven't done a great deal in your day maybe needs to be debriefed. So there's always something. And it's not just about work. It's you know how did you interact with other people, with your family, and various different things like that. You know, just go right through your day. What from start to finish did you how did you eat in the morning? Um, you know, uh, did you get your exercise? How did you deal with people during the day? That kind of thing, you know. So uh, thanks for that. Thanks for your your comments there. Uh, Khalil um, has got his manual up and things are working for him except that he hasn't managed to, to, to get calls done so just bear with it Khalil this, you, you'll find a way right you, you'll find a way to get the time to do this um, okay and storied worlds so today's the first day I'm going through my manual and my two questions so is there anything else we need to do with the goals um, the goals part of the manual each day besides read them no there isn't so the idea of that is, is to try and get that into your subconscious mind so that you will naturally uh, act on them throughout your day if, you, if, you're, if you're doing everything else. Like if you arrive in, uh, arrive to your desk uh, during, in the morning, uh, you've done your exercise, you've done your meditation, you've done your visual, visualization, you've debriefed yesterday. Over time, uh, what, you, what you're reading every morning will go into your subconscious and it will just come out in terms of actions, right? So we're not asking you to... Um, to do anything else other than that. Um, so your your second question is: I know you exercise before you start your day. Is when you exercise important? Um, so look, I guess for me, it only works for me in the morning, and there's a couple of reasons for that. I find that if I just if I don't do it in the morning before my son gets up, just I just not going to get the time afterwards. I, I just I deprioritize it. Just the way it works for me. So um, if you like to exercise in the afternoon or evening, then by all means do that. 
Um, I just like, I just see this as a morning routine. I like to do it in the morning. I like to be able to say uh, in the morning that, okay, it's done. I've done my routine, it's over, and I can uh, send a message to Jim and say that, say that, say that I'm done for the day. Um, so, but, but if it only works for you to exercise in the afternoon, I don't think there's any problem with that. So Claudia um, uh, is having just a, some challenges with, um, with some of the, uh, the, the goals that, that she has put down. Uh, so she's trying to reduce the amount of coffee and getting to bed a little earlier and that kind of thing. So, um, so what I would suggest that you do here is write down the goal, right? So if you normally go to bed at midnight and you want to go to bed at 10.30, right? Now you're at 11 p.m., that's good, but write down 10.30 as your goal, right? And so let that get into your subconscious. Don't, don't make the goal 11 for a period of time, right? And you'll get to there. It, it does everything, this doesn't happen overnight. It takes, it'll take a little bit of time. When you're going from five cups of coffee uh, down to one, you know, put, make sure one is your goal, right? And, uh, and then you'll gradually go from three to two, down to that one, but don't 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 change the goal as you go along. Set the end goal and make sure that that's what gets ingrained in your, in your subconscious. Jean is asking about the debrief and when we do the debrief, um, do we add this into the manual? So no, I, I, that that debrief is just something that you do yourself. You can write it down if you want on a, on a piece of paper, but it's not something that goes into the into the manual. I kind of keep that manual clean. Um, so uh, so debrief, I do it just uh, mentally debrief. I just kind of. After my meditation, I just like sit down and I just go through the day. I start well, what happened when I got up in the morning, how did my exercise go, etc. etc. And I go through it like that. Um, and so Claudia is saying that she's had uh, a routine that involves meditation, exercise, etc. And so she um she she had a manual and she's kind of put the two routines together, which is perfect. And um what what seems to happen is that she's, I think you're saying, Claudia, that, that it's taken you up a level now and you seem to have more of, a, of an ability to tap into your subconscious. And, and you're saying, well, you're not sure, but, it, but you think you are. And that's exactly the same as me. I wasn't sure, but then after a while, I looked, just looked back at some stuff that I was doing. I went, hang on a minute now. That wasn't the me from before. So you're saying also that, um, that you've had some you know, interesting experiences from this and uh, that you've done, you know, you've gone out of your comfort zone to do things because of this, and I'd love to see that. I think that's that's absolutely fantastic, Claudia. Well done. So Olive is saying that you know he's filled up the manual, um, he's done his uh, ten steps, and, and and now he's redoing them, which is fine. Um, and next he wants to set set aside some some quality time and go through the steps and internalize them. So Olive, I at the beginning I spent a lot of time detail reading. And trying to you know reread and internalize these things, but um, from what Jim has, has said to me, and this has been my experience as well, you you just need like by reading those in the morning, along with the other processes that you're going through in the morning, that will get into your subconscious. So I don't think you necessarily need to internalize them that much and you know set aside that quality time because that's going to mean you're going to put something off, right? So I would suggest, you know, just get it out whenever you get a little bit of time in the morning. I'm actually getting a lot quicker at going through mine now. Um, so so just 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 go through them and just just read through them quickly. Um, you don't need to worry about internalizing them so much. Uh, so Neil is saying that he's pretty confident that he can, you know, he's got it all down in the manual and pretty confident that he can make all this work and turn it into a daily routine. But his real issue is is taking that first step to reach out face to face with uh, with customers or prospects. So Neil, what I would say to you is make that um, one of the notes. So for example, you could say to yourself, why is it that I love um, having 10 out of 10 confidence to go out, to go and reach out to, uh, to prospects every day, right? So something around those lines, right? If you do that and make one of your goals, it will happen. It will happen naturally if you follow this process. Uh, Tracy is saying she's got her manual done and uh, that she's managing to get to, to bed earlier now and therefore she's getting more things done. I think that's great, right? It's a, it's a small win, but it's a great win. Um, and Janet is saying that uh, her manual's done and she hasn't gotten through all of the 10 steps at this point each day. She's missing the exercise one and uh, still a bit short on hydration. Now, you know, but look, remember guys, this is, a, this is a process. We don't expect everybody to do everything day one, okay? So, so take your time with it. If, if you haven't figured out the exercise bit, that's okay. There's no, there's no panic here. Um, so, and Gina's saying that uh, just having difficulty for the, for fitting in the exercise bit as well because of travel and stuff like that, and that, yeah, that can be a bit tricky. Just doing some stretching for now while you're, while, while you're traveling, great. Um, 
I when when I'm traveling, if that's an issue, usually it's it's easy enough just to take runners and and, uh, and a pair of shorts with me. But if you find that that hasn't worked, you've forgotten them, whatever it is, absolutely some stretching. And um, there is uh, what I do. I do some yoga sometimes if that's a case. And if you're in a hotel room, just find a little bit of space. You don't need much space to do some yoga. And I do. There's a friend of mine who's a yoga teacher, and he's got a 12 minute yoga practice. And I do that sometimes when I'm traveling. So if you Google the the yoga shala, uh, 12 minute yoga practice, that should that should that should pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, Jerry um, has filled in the manual, and um, just the the way that we're phrasing the affirmations doesn't work um, for her, and so um, and, and she's suggesting that people should be able to phrase them the way they want. And look, I've no problem with that. Whatever really works for you, um, I found you know this is the way I've been taught to do it, and um, there's a reason behind that which I will share. I've done a video on it on my way to work the other day. I just haven't shared it yet. Um, so I'll share that with you. Please have a look at that and then do it whatever way you think works best for you. I mean, the bottom line is it's got to work for you, so whatever works best. Uh, Chad um, has put in some Bible verses because that's an important part of his, uh, of his, of his life and that's perfectly fine. I think that's, that's great. And, um, and, and you need to just reformat now, um, Chad, the, uh, the goals that you put in there just into the why is it that I love format. That's perfect. You've spotted that already. So um, this one, um, it's under the name Local Area Review Guide, but um, so you've got your steps and you, you read your goals every day. That's great. You've got 15 of them there. And, um, and so the, the, one of the challenges here is that you're writing out your goals, but you're not managing to get them. You're not managing to achieve them. Just trust in the process. Not all going to happen in one day. Take your time with it. Just whatever, if, if when you write out those um, to-do lists, and we talk about this again, you know, animate them a little bit. What is it, you know, what are you going to do with each of them? You know, and make it fun, make it a bit of an adventure, something like that might might help. But but this will work for you. It just needs a little bit of time. Um, Bethany says, the manual's filled out. I read the goal, loves the process. Um, do I read the manual before uh, meditation and visualization? So visualizing, and, and I do. So I go through the step, the the the, the ten steps um, in that in the order that, that they are. So I read my manual first, and um, and then I then I do my meditation and my visualization. I'm not sure that that's necessarily the way it has to be. So you could try doing it a different way if you if you want. And um, you're also asking if you since you debrief your day. Um, I guess you don't keep a scorecard. So no, not 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 for this. I don't. Um, kind of scorecard is 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 in my subconscious for this. So all I'm doing is is just trying to uh, just just get a feel for okay what went well um, yesterday, what could be a little bit better, and what's a ten ten day for me, and then just get that into you know in, into my subconscious. I'm not even thinking about it during the day, but it actually flows through into the work that I'm doing during the day. So uh, Betty Clark, I think, um, got her manual, uh, spent $2.95 on it. That's great. Um, and has put the content in. Um, and she says she's finding it quite refreshing to read it every morning and, uh, and sometimes adds a little something. Absolutely. That's, that's, the, way, that's the way it goes. Um, this does have a way, she's saying, of helping people, helping her at least, stay on course. And it absolutely does. And it's amazing how quickly you'll get that feeling. Well, for some people at least. So Lauren is saying that uh, she's finding this journaling inspiring and motivating and empowering. And, um, and then she, she loves reading it. And then when a new insight pops in or comes into focus, uh, adds it in to, uh, into, into, the, into the manual, which is brilliant. That's exactly the, the way to do that. And also saying that she loves the uh, the three questions. What could I have done better? Um, I can really get stuck at times, she's saying. So uh, it's good to break things down into a step-by-step -step process. Uh, also like the forgiving aspects. So I'm not so hard on my human self and make mistakes that I make. Absolutely, yeah, don't be hard on yourself. Uh, we're all learning and uh, we'll all get there at some stage. Uh, so Dana says, I've, or Dana, I've got my book written up and having trouble with all the 10 steps uh, to get all the 10 steps, especially the exercise and eating healthy since I work shifts. So, um, yeah, look, that, that's going to be a challenge, Dana. And, um, you know, just bear with it and you'll find a way to work around this. And I think if, if 
because you're working shifts and that has an impact on what meals you can eat. I understand that when I travel, I have the same sort of issue. But again, I think that you need to get this into your subconscious and you figure out a way of making that work. So I, I, I wouldn't worry too much right now about the how it's going to work for you. Just work on the subconscious and I think a way you'll figure out a way in time to make that happen. Uh, Deborah's saying she's got her 10 steps in play, reading it Monday to Friday. Yeah, that's why I only do it Monday to Friday as well. I take a break at the weekend and um, love the discipline of getting tomorrow's action list done at the end of the day. It doesn't have to be at the end of the day. It could be, could be any time during the day. I, in fact, I started mine at about, about 10 a.m. Uh, yesterday morning. Um, and she says she's all, also reading the book Making Money is Killing Your Business by Chuck Blakeman. And yeah, that's a great book. I really love that. I really love Chuck. So look, guys, that's it. That's all the, the, the comments then from today. And uh, then tomorrow we'll go back and we'll start looking at things like, um, you know, exercise. And I'll be sharing um, different aspects, different days as we, as we go through this. And I, I could see from this that visualization is an issue. The exercise is an issue. The diet, the eating is an issue. And, uh, and we're going to cover all that stuff. So thanks a million, guys. Talk to you soon.